Hey crafty friends, it's Amanda with Pear Blossom Press. Today I've got another fun fold for you. We're gonna make a gatefold card and I've die cut a window out of the center. And just for fun, I added an, an extra little uh, surprise there. We've got an action wobbler under our sentiment just to, to kick it up a notch. Today's video is celebrating my friend uh, Kiana's 500 500th subscriber on her YouTube channel. If you guys aren't familiar with Kiona's channel, it's Kiona the Craft Therapist. She's got some really fun interactive cards and she is a whiz with the Cricut. So uh, make sure you check it out. Hop along with us. There are some other amazing designers participating today too. Congratulations, Kiona. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with my card. I've got... Um, I've got a paper pack that I've had in my stash for a long time. It's actually thinner cardstock that I, I, I don't like the thickness for a normal card base. And the colors are kind of neon, so I, I haven't had much chance to use them. Also, the ends have faded, but I'm actually going to use that to my advantage. All of those things are going to be to my advantage for this card here. So I have gone ahead and I have stamped and I have cut out uh, two little critters and a background and I Copic colored all of those. These are new sets, uh, new stamp sets from Sassy and Crafty. I've got those all listed down below. Aren't these fun? They're super cute. They're like 80s themed um, and I, I've been having a lot of fun coloring them. So I colored a background, colored the two little critters, and cut them out. I'm also going to bring in this zebra stencil, also from Sassy and Crafty. And then I'm going to bring in a pair of the double-stitched hearts from Pink and Main. Those are going to help us cut the window and our sentiment. So let's start on the card base. The first thing that I'm going to do is take one sheet of that orange paper, and I'm going to cut it in half the long way. Um, so I've got four and, a, four and a quarter by 11 inches for both of them. And I am going to stack them up on top of each other and make sure that they are both exactly um, the same width. If one was a little bit uh, wider than the other, I would trim it to fit. But happy, uh, happy accident there. I, I got them identical. And then I'm going to bring in my score pal. I'm going to fold them both at the halfway point. So five and a half inches there. And then I'll just reinforce those folds um, with that bone folder. I like to make sure that I've got a nice square, um, squared line there. And you can see when you nestle the two together, you end up with basically a trifold card. Now I'm going to put them back in my score pal, and I'm making sure that I have that that sort of faded edge um, to the left there. And then I scored it at two and three quarters of an inch and folded it back on itself. And then I'll do the same thing for the other side. So score at two and three quarters of an inch so that it's basically folding the front part in half. And then you can see when we nestle those together, we've got a gate fold. Now I want to take the inside layer and I want to trim just a sliver off the long end, just a, a tiny little amount. And that's going to help the, the two seat together at the fold line. Um, at the, the left score line inside so that they fold nicely together. They'll, they'll just sit. I promise this works. <laughs> and you just give yourself a little bit of a gap there. Um, and then I'm going to grab the middle heart there. That one's the third largest or third smallest. There's five in the set, so it's the middle one. And I'm going to take it. I will line up those uh, card pieces and I want to get that heart right in the center. And then you saw me slip out the other piece and you can see I've got the point, um, the points lined up there and I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. And then you'll see that gives me half a heart. If I open it up, I have a whole heart on the left side. And then now I'll nestle the two pieces together again. And then I'm going to grab that heart die and I will line it up again, making sure that it's, it's sitting right in the um, cut line from the left side so that I will have a perfect heart when it cuts out again. And I, I just cut the left side, or I'm sorry, the right side now. And then when I seat the two together again, we've got a perfect heart. And if you open it up, there are two heart shaped windows. Now, before we glue it together, I want to add some texture to the fronts. So I grabbed that stencil. Isn't that fun? It's a fun zebra die. Although on the orange, if you put black, it could be like tiger stripes. Um, but in this case, I just 
I just wanted to add the texture and not more color because I, I feel like I've got enough colors already going on. So I'm just going to grab my squishy pad and depending on what machine you have, you, you might have a different sandwich than me, um, but the squishy pad and then the paper and the stencil and your top plate. And then I ran it through my machine and you can see now we've got that zebra embossed into the left side and we want to do the same thing for the right side. So again, line it up. I want to make sure that the pattern stops right at the uh, center fold line there so that I'm not embossing uh, the pattern onto the back part of the card, only the, the top portion of the card. And once I run it through, you can see we've got the same thing on the other side. And I love adding texture this way with stencils. It's fast, it's clean, you don't get ink all over your fingers, and you get a, a nice texture. So you can see when we seat those two together, we've got zebra on both sides. And then now I can glue them together. I've got PVA glue in a fine line bottle. That's my favorite. I like the wet glue because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room. I like the fine line bottle because I can control how much comes out. Um, so that's my, my go-to combo there. And I just glued the two um, overlapping pieces together in the back. And again, using that, that wiggle time that I get from wet glue to make sure that they're lined up perfectly. And then now you can see we've got our gatefold. I brought in my background. It's a little too big. It's exactly four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, and I wanted a little bit of a border to show. And I also want to trim away some of the, the extra from the left and the right. So I trimmed about an eighth inch off all the way around. And then that gives me enough room to A, create a border, um, so it's, it's kind of got like a frame around it and also get away from those fold lines so everything will lay down flatter. So then I can just line it up and glue that inside the center of my card there. And I think that's a fun pop of color when you open it up. Now I wanna take my two little critters and I'm gonna situate them on my card. The first critter I'm gonna glue flat to the card. I'm making sure not to put any glue on his ear where he kind of overlaps the left side of the card. Um, I only want him attached to the right side. And then for the second critter, I'm gonna bring in my foam tape. I don't know about you, but when I cut off foam tape pieces, sometimes I, I end up with extras and I just store those back on the roll. So I, I have them handy when I need them. Um, in this case, I just grab those little extras and I put them on the back of my critter and I could pop him down. And then now it's time for our sentiment. So I grab the next smaller heart and I grab the sentiment that says, I think it says, hope your day rocks. And I want to emboss that. So I'm going to die cut the smaller heart from another scrap of that orange paper. And I'm saving both the negative and the positive there. So I can put it in my misty. And that way, if... Um, if it shifts at all, if, if I were just to stick the heart there, it's kind of hard to line up, but with the negative piece, I've got it nestled into the corner. So just in case, um, like if I, if I stamped it down and the stamp stuck to the heart, um, I know that I can line it back up exactly if I need to. Uh, so this is a good idea. Just give yourself a little jig when you die cut pieces and then you want to stamp them. And I used my powder tool and I stamped with Versamark ink. That's a clear sticky ink that will hold my embossing powder. I'm going to sprinkle on white embossing powder here. The powder tool makes sure that none of the extra powder sticks where you don't want it to. And then once I've got a good covering there, I can bring in my heat gun and melt that powder. This goes fast, especially on thinner paper. And then now we've got our sentiment embossed on there. I thought that would be fun in white rather than stamped in black. And instead of sticking the sentiment flat to the card, I wanted to pop it up and I wanted to use an action wobbler. This is actually a mini action wobbler. If you haven't seen these before, they're little plastic springs. They come in two sizes. The mini action wobblers, for some reason, tend to be more expensive than the regular sized ones. But I find that the regular size ones are too big uh, for most of the projects that I use. So if you're only going to buy one set, go with the minis, even though they cost more, um, that you'll find them more useful. And they have adhesive on both sides. So I just 
adhered it to my heart and then I'm gonna stick it to my card. And I like to use the tweezers for things like this just because my fingers sometimes are in the way and it's hard to line it up. And now we've got a fun little action wobbler holding our sentiment in place. And the last thing I wanted to do to this card was add a little more bling. Um, so I grabbed my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and my Jewel Picker, and I am gonna just adhere a couple of little stars and other flat gems there. They're both kind of crystal clear, but they have an iridescent finish, so I thought those were fun. And then I'll go ahead and I will use that big block and I'll just stick it on top and that's going to help those folds all want to lay down flat. Um, so I, I left it sitting there for a little bit. So we can take a quick look at this card again in motion here. You can see the, the fun little action wobbler, the fun fold, and the, the gate fold is always a neat interactive or different way to fold the card. I, I like this style. So I want to remind you that we are celebrating Kiana's 500 subscribers on her YouTube channel. There are a lot of other participants hopping along with us today. So make sure that you follow along in the hop. You're going to find some good stuff in there. And there's also prizes. All the details are down below. And I hope that you will come on back after you're done hopping. Check out a few more videos. If you're new to my channel and you like interactive cards, you might want to click subscribe and ring that bell because I do feature a lot of those on my channel. As always, my friend, thanks for watching.